To be productive, you really just need five kind of apps. A task organizer, a file manager, an app to help you keep focused, and one or two tools to help you speed up repetitive things. Let's start with the task organizers. First one is a simple one, but trust me, the most effective one. Focus Notify. This is effective because it inserts whatever I need to critically remember in the place where I go the most, my notification panel. Every time I swipe down the notification panel, the reminder is sitting right there staring at me and instantly puts me back on track. When you want to add something important that you need to remember, just tap add and then this beautiful little card pops up, wherein you can put in, you know, a title and a small description to your reminder. You have the capability to add a reminder too. For example, you want to remember to switch on the, let's say, a dryer when you reach home. So just add the reminder and set it to connect to Wi-Fi instead of a specific time. And the second your phone connects to your Wi-Fi at home, you'll get the notification. You also have the capability to attach a voice note or, or any other attachment for that matter. For example, images or a contact or a location. So for example, if you want to dial to someone, you can use a contact. To add more to this, you can set a fresh color uh, you know, for each note that you create. It, you can use it to distinguish priority of reminders. Red could mean very urgent and green the least. The second task organizer is more of a project manager. It's called Todoist and it's my favorite. It's extremely scalable and fits to almost every need. To start with, Todoist helps you create projects and then sub-projects within those projects if the need be. Within each sub-project, you can further have various tasks. Needless to say, each task could have its own tag, own reminder, its own deadline, and you can also assign it to a person in your team in that project. So let me just tap task one and you can go into edit and you can see that it's assigned to a project. There is a due date that you can put. You could uh, put a priority. A label works like hashtags or tags. You can also put reminder, uh, whether it's a location reminder or date and time. And you can also choose how you wish to receive the reminder. So whether it's a notification on your phone, an SMS or an email notification. But the real fun starts in how easy it is to use this. Let's say you want to add a task to a project called let's say Tyron. So I say, uh, let me just type task and then I use a hashtag and then write the project name. So it automatically picks that up. I can assign it to someone who is in that project with me. And then I could say, you know, it's, it's, it's deadline is today with a priority of one. I mean, just by typing, uh, you know, the right keywords in my task, it automatically identifies um, intelligently when it's due, who it is for, which project it must be assigned to. So I don't have to go inside the app all the way and select multiple things in the drop down. And then I could just go into my list and I can see it's right there at the bottom task today. Uh, and there are fresh colors available. So a lot of themes available for you. The best part about your is, is it works across platforms, Windows, Mac, Gmail, and even integrates with Microsoft Outlook. The third app I want to talk about is called Fast Finder. There are times you're looking for a file or a song or an app and you tend to always go all the way through the usual route to really look for something that takes more time. Well, this app is pretty cool that way. Uh, you know, all you have to do is just call for the app and if you remember the file name, just type words of that and it will show the, uh, the file name as a search result. You could also be looking for file extensions. So for example, you're, you're looking for a PPT or a JPEG, um, you know, or a PDF. So just type JPEG, I mean JPG, and it's going to show you files that correspond to that extension. You can also place a widget on your home screen like this and, you know, just tap on that and it'll open it up right on your home screen. And let's say I'm looking for an app, which is Retrica. It's a, it's a pretty beautiful um, camera app. So I just have to type in the name and it's immediately, you know, I don't have to go all the way inside. Another really cool, cool thing is that you can type a contact name and it gives you the option to whether you want to call them, SMS them or email them uh, right from the home screen itself. And let's say you're looking for, you know, a song. I mean, no leaf, for example. And it just gives you a direct link, tap and open. The fourth app is to help you focus at work. Now, I know there might be plenty of stuff that you would have already tried or people would have told you to do, but this is the one that has worked amazingly well for me. It's called Noisly. Simply amazing, looks beautiful and super easy to use. With Noisly, you can set an extremely soothing and relaxing background to drown out 
any annoying or distracting noises in your surrounding to help you concentrate better, thereby increasing productivity. The sounds are amazingly high quality in the app and you can actually mix and match multiple type of sounds. So you know you've got multiple sounds that you can enable, disable as per your liking and mix them. As you multi-select sounds, you can mix them for the best background music for your ears and you can also set the volume levels of each noise independently. All of these sounds are offline, so you don't need internet to make this work. And that's probably why the size of this app is about 204 MB, but it's totally worth it. Now, um, you know, for example, I switch on uh, the, the train track along with, let's say, uh, moon. Yeah, you know, so it's, it, it'll sound like, you know, I'm traveling in a train in the night. Um, or at least it's it's going by uh, you know outside my house, and I can preset it so I can I can make it a combo. For example, the night train. Um, you know you can actually go to Noisely's website, and there are quite a few presets already made. So you could you know pick up some inspiration from there and and load those over here. You could also create a Noisely account, uh, and if you know you've purchased this app. Uh, you know, you can export all of those or import all of those presets onto your app as well. What's even better is that you can combine these beautiful sounds you make with efficient time management methods such as the Pomodoro technique which is the 25 minute work and then the 5 minute or 10 minute break. Um, and this way you're more efficient and more productive. There is a built-in countdown timer function for work or for study or just any creativity session and you could in fact use it even if you're sleeping. Now, while this might be contradictory, but the app does let you surf other apps on your phone while the app is already playing in the background. But that's fine. I mean, you could be reading something on your phone uh, and you'd still want to drown out all the noise uh, in the background. And if you have a pair of uh, active noise cancelling headphones, this is an amazing app to use. Next you need is a file manager that can do all in one without the need for you to pay anything. That's the file manager. And this app does more than just manage your local and SD card files. It also manages all your cloud storage accounts in one place without paying for any premium services. And then you can also perform all basic necessary functions like move, copy, rename, delete, and even compress, which is, you know, zip and unzipping files, which can be really handy at times and at least at the most unexpected times. But it's also got an impressive media analysis tool that helps you figure out the most unused and repetitive and large files that are lying on your phone's memory card or your local storage and you can instantly get rid of them uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also get access to handle and manage most popular cloud storage services like Google Drive, Box, Dropbox, OneDrive and so on. You could also file uh, transfer files from your phone to any other PC just like AirDroid does. So that's it guys, these apps have really helped me uh, be more productive at work, so it is from my personal experience. If you have any apps that you use, let me know how you use them uh, so I can talk about them in my next video. Thank you guys.